Hi everyone, this is Emily. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this bobble stitch sleeveless summer top. So let's get started. To make this very easy summer top, you're going to make two panels. Make two. I work from the bottom up. So I started with a slip knot. Start with a foundation chain that is as long as the widest part of your body. Don't work the foundation chain too tightly, otherwise it will grow as you work. So just start with your foundation chain. After you have your foundation chain the correct length, you're going to double crochet in the third stitch from the hook. One, two, three. In here. So double crochet. And double crochet in each stitch all the way across your foundation chain. So double crochet. Yarn around the hook, insert into the stitch, pull up a loop, pull up a loop through two, and pull up a loop through the final two, and that's a double crochet. So go ahead and double crochet all the way across the row. Okay, so that's your first row. Now for the second row, you're going to chain two and turn. And you're going to alternate front post double crochet, double crochet, all the way across the row. So front post double crochet, yarn around the hook, insert under the post from the front, and complete your double crochet. So that's around that stitch. You're just going to make a regular double crochet in the next stitch. So double crochet. Come to the next stitch, make a front post double crochet. and a regular double crochet in the next stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way across the row. Front post double crochet, double crochet. Front post, double crochet. Like that, you do that all the way across the row. And that's what that will look like, and that will be the bottom band of the sweater. That's what it looks like, and that is this section right here. So now I'm just going to do one row of double crochet, and then I'll show you how to do the bobble row. So to do my row of double crochet, I'm going to chain two, and I'm going to double crochet in every stitch all the way across the row. So just a regular double crochet in every stitch all the way across the row. Okay, like that. And you do that all the way across the row. Okay, so now I'm going to do a row of bobble. So I'm going to attach another color and I'm going to turn. Okay, now I'm going to single crochet in that very first stitch and in the next two stitches. So single crochet, single crochet. In the next stitch, I'm going to make a bobble stitch. So yarn around the hook, insert into the stitch, pick up the yarn and pull it through, pick up the yarn and pull it through two. Yarn around the hook, insert into the same stitch, pick up the yarn and pull it through, pick up the yarn, pull it through two. Yarn around the hook, insert into the same stitch, pick up the yarn and pull it through, pick up the yarn, pull it through two. Now you'll have four loops on the hook, one, two, three, four. Pick up the yarn, pull it through all four loops on the hook. And then single crochet in the next three stitches. So single crochet and if your bobble's on the wrong side you can just push it through so that was one two and three now i'm going to make another bobble stitch in this stitch yarn around the hook insert pull up a loop pull through two stitches yarn around the hook insert pull up a loop pull through two stitches yarn around the hook Insert, pull up a loop, pull through two stitches. You'll have one, two, three, four stitches. Pick up the yarn, pull it through all four stitches. Single crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, and three. 
then you'll work that way all the way across the row. And that's what that will look like when it's finished. And then you'll just work four rows of double crochet and you'll make another row of bobbles. Four rows of double crochet, another row of bobbles. You keep doing that until you have your sweater as long as you want it to be. The top band is exactly the same as the bottom band. One row of double crochet, one row of front post and double crochet. And then you'll sew the side seam and the shoulder seams, leaving an opening large enough for the arms. And then to work the armband, you attach your yarn under the arm and you double crochet all the way around. And then you do another row of front post and double crochet in the next stitch. And you fasten off, weave your yarn ends into the finished work, and your sweater will be finished. And that's how easy it is to make this sleeveless summer top. I hope you enjoyed this video. Did you know that I have nearly 500 instant download patterns in my Ravelry store? And you can find the link below. For more videos, click on the images shown here.